Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're going to do a bit of testing. And uh, so if you saw my previous video, I talked about how I was planning to do my automatic water changes in the fish room just in there. And I'm going to use this as the Titan TT B583 PMP sump pump. Um, and it spawned a few a few questionable comments. So my idea was this is a sump pump, I'll stick it in this water butt, I will run all the overflows on my fish tanks into this in fact i'll show you what i was thinking of so the reason i wanted to use this sump pump was to drain all these fish tanks so most of these fish tanks are all drilled for overflows so i can drip water into them then i was planning on having uh, pipes running along down here into the water butt and then the sump pump with its float switch would then pump all the way up to there and that's the main soil pipe that big gray one and get rid of the water that way. So I got a couple of comments on that previous video saying, oh, I'm not sure that'll work. I think it'll be too powerful. And equally as many comments saying, I'm not sure that'll work. I don't think it'll be powerful enough. Because obviously this has got to get up about 10 feet, maybe eight feet. Um, I think it's up to the job, but I thought, why not test it? So what we're gonna do is we'll unbox this. We'll take a look at it and we'll stick it in there. We'll fill it up with water and we'll see what happens. Get me a big YouTuber knife out and get this opened up keeping all fingers hopefully so this is the titan sump pump as i said before from screw fix here in the uk i think it was about 40 quid reduced from 65 which i thought was a pretty good deal i've got a load of other power tools with the same brand and they've all done pretty well for me so i'm quite happy with them Ooh. Instructions in there. I'm sure we won't need them. Pretty well reviewed. Um, another of the reasons that I got this one. But most importantly, quite compact. So if I know what's going on, I've got the plug here. Nice big long cable. It's designed for dirty water, so it should handle anything that I get out of a, a fish tank. Um, there's not much to it. It's got the float switch here. Basically, when the water gets high enough sets it off and then when the water drops back down again cuts it out and then we've got a hose here or hose right angled attachment that i will now struggle with for the next five minutes so i think we should launch straight into a test and see what happens I mean, it's either not going to come out of the water butt or it's going to shoot thousands of feet into the air, depending on whose comments you believe. So the construction of it is fairly straightforward. Like I say, water goes in here, water comes out here. And this just sits in there. In terms of function, as it says on the little sticker on the side, basically you've got, it'll handle solids up to 30 millimetres. Um, so in this case, poo, <laughs> that's quite good. Uh, it runs at 9,000 litres per hour as the pump capacity, head height of 6 metres, so plenty to get it up there. So I guess the only question is whether or not it's too much to get it up there. In terms of the float switch, you control how much water you want to let it up. So basically there's a ball in here which rolls, and when it rolls back to that side, it makes contact and switches it on. So you just make this longer or shorter as you require. Um, so it's got further to travel before it switches on again. So we'll leave it on default for now and try it again in a bit. And then the pump has a test and reset option so you can basically an RCD on a plug so you can test it. We'll stick it in the water butt and see how we get on. Um, it does say it needs a minimum space of like 40 centimeters by 50 centimeters. So we are kind of pushing the boundaries a little bit here. We'll try it. Uh, let's get it plugged in, filled up with water and see how we get on. Right, I guess we just start filling it up and see what happens. I'm just trying to get it to a point where I'm not fouling where the water will come up, so... I could just use a bit of pipe to make sure, but we should have a straight one to shoot straight out. How long can I stand here? <laughs> I 
So if this is 100 litres this water butt, it's probably going to get to about 70 litres full before it triggers, even at just the default setting. The float switch has got a bit stuck. I might have to try and free it. Okay. Should come on any second now. I did turn the power on, didn't I? I can taste the drama in the air. That's just very disappointing. It should have fired. Hang on, let's reset. Something's gone wrong. Hmm. Hmm. Right, this is one of those reading the instructions actually comes in handy moments. So, on the switch you've got a test and a reset and it says you're meant to do this every time you start it after being unplugged. So in theory, when I press this reset button, it should fire because it's got enough water in it now. So, I think I'll just get out of the way and try it. Hopefully you can still see me. Three, two, one. It's going. It immediately falls over. So I think what we're gonna to have to do is get some hose or some pipe, bring it up here, stabilize it a little bit and see how high it goes for no apparent reason. Okay, test two. Got it. Test two with some flexible hose attached. So that's more than enough, then I need to pump it height-wise and get it to sit straight and not soak myself. So how do we do this without electrocuting myself? Test two. Let's go. So it's not shooting 50 feet into the air. If I can use a nice wide bore pipe like this, it's not going to overwhelm my plumbing. See how long it takes to empty this. I'd say that was about 50, 60 liters. Et voila. Test successful, I think we can prove. Wasted a poop ton of water for no reason, but there we go. Right, next stage click that subscribe button and come along to the next video and we'll hook up all the other pipe work when I've got a little bit more time. But for now, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.